Aquarius, Pisces, to your love reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Okay, first card out. Ooh. Time to make the effort. Nice. So it says, a great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And the card coming out with it is, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Nice. And next card coming out is, it's time to disconnect from the world. Take a little time out together. As you can see that they're together. It's time for us to, you know, just hang out together. Disconnect. Get to know each other. Sometimes we need to put that cell phone away so we can just walk together, talk together, enjoy each other's company with no interference. Best way to do so. That way no one's interfering with us. Maybe taking a little holiday, a little vacation, just a weekend, maybe just a day trip, however it is, right? But it's time for us to disconnect from the world so that we'll be, yes, because you love me. Oh, because it is. It's so, right? It's so nice to be able to, yes, make these changes. Changes will be made. When you're retreating from the outside world, you're going to notice that you're you're actually, look at your chakras over here, a beautiful chakra card saying that we're balanced together. We're learning to grow together. Changes will be made when we do this because we will, you know, grow together. It's going to be so worth it. Yeah. It's, it is worth it. <laughs> it is worth it, right? Um, and yeah, that's exactly what it is. We need this time together so that we can learn about each other, so that we can, you know, grow together. Maybe it's been a long time since you've been together, and it's time now. Go to the beach. Do things together. Even if you're married, right, you could say, you know what, the kids, we need to take them to grandma's so that we can go reconnect. We haven't reconnected in a while. It's time. It's time for us time. So take that how it resonates. Yes, seeking, seeking solitude. But the seeking solitude is together. And that's what I love it together, right? It's like we're solitude together. Not just alone. We're doing it. Yes. Nurturing each other. Giving that time needed. Balancing ourselves. Like it said, I love that with the chakra. I said balancing ourselves as one. We are lovers. We need to do this. Maybe we've kind of got off the path. We're not as connected as we were before, but now we can learn to connect. Now we're connecting, really connecting, whether you've been together a long time, whether you're married, whether you're just new and meeting each other and knowing that I want to learn about you. Take it how it resonates, but that's exactly what it is. We need this time together. Okay, The flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to your love. me about this love. Okay. Time to do what we need to do. So let's see what the cards over here say. Time to get a little flirty. Opening up. Remember how it was, right? Or how it could be? Or just now is the time to really start getting more flirty. Maybe it's a new relationship but we haven't really been flirty, but now we can. Okay. Okay. Yes. Triggers. Oh. I love that in the, the this area here though. Because remember, triggers could be bad or they could be good. In this area, it's good because you're triggering me. You're flirting with me and you're triggering me. Oh, yeah. And I like that. But it's not a bad trigger. These are good triggers. This is on a positive. Yeah. This is on a positive note. You're, un you're, you're unlocking potentials within me with your triggers. <clears throat> you're making me laugh. Right? And that's triggering me. I haven't heard you laugh like that in a long time. That's a trigger. Um, your smile. 
however it is. Maybe you're giving me goosebumps, the way you touch me, the way you do this, the way you flip your hair, right? The way you look at me, you're triggering me. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. How beautiful is that? So let's bring out some of these cards and see. These are good triggers, not the ones that upset us. Yes, simply love. And I remember when we used to do that. And, you know, for those of you who have been married and you've been, you know, haven't had this for a while or you've been connected and you've just, you know what, we haven't had time to really be together. It just feels like it's kind of nostalgic. It's kind of like, you know, if you've been together a long time and you haven't really done anything, like I said, you had kids, did this and that, this could definitely be triggering some of those nostalgic feelings. Hey, remember we used to do this, you know, 10 years ago before we had the kids? You know, and it's just very lighthearted. And no matter what it is, it's giving you this this very yeah, beautiful new vitality, this new feeling, this romantic feeling with you know within the situation. And that that's really beautiful. Guys, this is a beautiful reading. This is you know what, you're opening up my heart chakra. You're really pouring the love into me, and I'm just really feeling this. Um, right? I'm really feeling this, and I feel like you know, I'm gonna embrace this time. With you, I'm going to, you know, we're going to embrace this time together because I'm really enjoying this. And we have the sun. Wow. Wow. This is a very pleasurable time of our life. And we're really, you know, either getting to know each other on all the right bases or this, you know, where we're coming back together, um, right? Because we've been too busy, however. But however this is, this is very beautiful. Because it's showing this very flirty, very, you know, just very hot, romantic time, right? And really feeling like we're connecting. We're really connecting. It's been a while since I've been connected to someone like this, or it's been a while since we've been connected like this. Clarify. Spirit, please. Yeah. Yeah. Having some fun, being creative, doing things that we haven't done in a long time. Same thing. Feeling the creativity. Sexuality. Wow. I already said that, though, with the hot, hot, hot ace of wands over there. Right? And it's just, it is. It's really feeling like, you know what? We're really coming together. This is a really big coming together over here. Yeah. You know, feeling more intimate. And this bringing in this this intimacy with serendipity. Wow. Now you feel like you're in heaven. But it's like something that, you know, you've been either want, wanting for a long time to either find someone to do this with and you've found this person. Or you've been wanting to reconnect with your person like this for a while. You know it's been a while, right, since you guys have connected. Um, and it's just a beautiful time right now. I see a lot of you going to the beach, doing things like this going to the spa, taking some time out. Some of you might even be traveling to an island. I don't, I see that. I don't know why, but I see that. Maybe it's because of this as well. I don't know, but I do see you guys traveling to an, an island. You could be going to art shows, doing something artsy-fartsy. There's that creativity coming through, feeling like art. There's that youthfulness. And I feel that with the Six of Cups, like I said, that it just feels like it's nostalgic. Like, this is very youthful. We haven't done this forever. I've you make me feel young at heart. You make me want to, you know, um, do things that maybe we haven't done in a long time. Um, you know, just very loving, just feeling that love, embracing that love, wanting to hold on to that love, not wanting to let it go. Wow. Yeah, feeling like we're on cloud nine. You make me feel like I'm on cloud nine. You make me feel like I'm. my heart is flying. We're flying together. And it's about time. It's about time. And for some of you, it did have something to do with children. We need to get rid of the children. We need to go do this. Take them to grandma's. Hurry up. Right? Get them kids out of here. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. I need a, I need a break. And it is. It's an overall blessing, my friends. It is. It's definitely a blessing. And this is the blessing it feels like you guys need for your relationship. And like I said, if it's a new relationship, the children could just be that feeling youthful. You know? It could even, you know... Make you feel like, wow, you know what, this is a person I'd like to have children with or however. Take it however it is. Um, but it definitely feels like it's a blessing 
And it might even be for some of you a blessing in disguise. Where did this person come from? If you know this person is new and you've only been with them a couple of weeks and you're going on this little retreat, this little vacation, um, you definitely can feel you were at the right time, at the right place. And what a blessing it is. What a blessing. Very blessing. Yes, and I do agree. I do agree. It's very healing as well. No matter what kind of healing it is. Even if it's just healing of, oh, because we were so stressed out. And we've just been putting so much time in. Right? And now you can just feel like it's, it's, it's healing. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.